this is actually one of the largest uh, dams in the world in terms of the uh, uh, reservoir water capacity. Uh, the, the, the water capacity is 18 uh, billion meter cubed, uh, which is, uh, I would say that, you know, we have in the UK, just for comparison, in the UK, we have uh, approximately 3,000 dams, but majority of them are very small dams with the water, uh, reservoir water capacity of 1 million, maybe 5 million meter cubed, maybe maximum. Uh, and the maximum actually is around 200 uh, million uh, meter cubed. But this one that uh, uh, is broken today uh, has had actually a, a water uh, uh, capacity of 18 billion meter cubed, which means 90, 90, uh, 90 times larger than uh, than the usual, uh, you know, than the largest dam in the UK. So usually it takes uh, a few hours uh, until you know the uh, the the wave uh, the dam break waves arrives at different communities. It takes uh, a few hours until 24 hours until we have you know the largest waves. So I think still there is time. I hope that the local authorities uh, they do the job uh, uh, the job of informing uh, downstream people. I think that must be the uh, the priority. The first the first thing that we have to do uh, just to give warnings and evacuate all of the people uh, down there. And uh, uh, and then we have to really focus on the uh, uh, lifeline infrastructure. For example, uh, a dam break like this would damage, you know, uh, and contaminate uh, all of the uh, uh, water uh, resources, like you know, different uh, reservoirs that we have in a very large area. I would imagine that uh, the flooded area would be very, very, very huge, uh, uh, based on the. Uh, we have to ensure that the uh, the roads are. Uh, or stay open. Uh, you know that uh, such a flooding would have lots of debris and mud flow, and unfortunately, uh, lots of the access roads would be uh, blocked. Uh, so these are the priority. You know, evacuation first, uh, helping the uh, people uh, trapped in the flooding zone, uh, then ensuring that the roads are uh, stay open, and then, uh, as I said earlier. Uh, these kind of uh, incidents, they have very long-term impacts. Uh, the, 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 the impacts would take maybe um, a few decades uh, uh, because, you know, just just the, just removing the physical debris would take at least a few years, at least three, four years until you have, uh, you can remove all of the debris. And that's, uh, I would say, that's not the major problem. The major problem is the chemical uh, contamination of a very large area, would, uh, which would uh, make problems for the agriculture, would problem for the water resources, would make problem for uh, uh, for many industries in the region, uh, hospitals uh, and roads, and many other uh, activities in the region. 